Hey everyone, it's Alex and Gio from Red Time. Yo, yo. And we're here today. Joe's brought some pieces over, and uh, one of the pieces is the Saga. Uh, this I'm is really the, happy about this. This is the regular really edition Saga, really yeah. For some reason, there is the uh, the exclusive version. They did three um, back in the day. They used to do um, the two pop culture shop ones, so the regular, the exclusive, and then they'd do a sideshow exclusive as well. Um, and there's one with the leggings and whatever else. Like a bandana on. around his head, around his arm. Yeah. So this is the regular version. This is actually my this is my favourite one. Um, I, I'm not actually this is exciting because I, I haven't actually seen this piece in person. I thought you had. No, I haven't seen it in person. I've seen a lot of like a lot of pictures and. I swear you told me you saw it in Prague. No, it's never. I would have bought uh, it. I would have bought it if it was in Prague. Yeah. Um, so go through the box quickly. You can see this is like sort of the sort of newer style boxes. You've got like the print at the front, nice close up. That's the portrait that I really love. That's a proper sag out for me. The green teeth is okay, but I really like the sort of nonchalant face of this one. Mm. Then you've got a side profile there, doing the typical Muay Thai pose, which is lovely. Put his front foot lightly on the ground. Do dig that big time. And it's from uh, Street Fighter 4. And then you go there and it's got the stats, which I really like. I love that. His birthday's uh, July the 2nd, height 7 foot 4. Jeez. 7 4. That's Shit. funny, do you want to see something funny? Height 7 foot 4. How much do you think he weighs? A seven four with a frame like that, yeah, probably about mm. two hundred and forty pounds. How much do you think I weigh? About hundred and fucking forty pounds. <laughs> I'm hundred and seventy six pounds, right? Right, and I'm five five nine five ten, right? He is seven foot four. And he weighs 172 pounds. There's no way he's 172 pounds. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Ty, first appearance Street Fighter. Uh, likes strong opponents. Dis dislikes uh, <laughs> Dragon Punch. Zero uh, Is that what it says? Yeah. Uh, helpless people. Yeah, good. So you've got the details there. The addition size we're looking at. Is this is 185 or 500? So, even for the regular, it's a pretty low ES, and then we'll get the piece out. All right, uh, so we got here, he's got the uh postcards again. I postcards, say where, where have they been? Did they go anywhere nice? Yeah, they went to uh Thailand. Thailand, so uh, I say this on every uh, everyone that I do really like this. Funny enough. This is number 185 for 500. Isn't 185 how many Shinokuma should have been? Yes. Even though it said 190. Anyway, yes. We're going to keep bringing that up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a wind up joke. Okay, right. so getting on to this, obviously, I have to jump the gun as usual and say this is a Spoiler alert. fucking masterpiece. <laughs> I love every single thing about this statue. There is nothing, I mean, other than the relatively plain base that we can talk about, it's a normal sort of routine. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Yeah, oh, there's a bit of glute. Oh, oh, there's a bit of bum there. It's got like the nice beveled edge and it's got the nice matte black. You know, it really is a simplistic museum style. Man, that's I swear like matte black. Is, is, matte black is a sculptor for the sideshow. Yeah, that is fucking awesome, man. That is wow. Okay, so you're getting on to the, I mean, so, yeah, start off. Standard, I, I, I just uh, love that pose, man. That pose is just banging. You know that you just look at that right, and if you're standing opposite and you're thinking, "I'm going to get hit with a right leg kick or a body," you, you just you know what I mean. That's what that's saying, isn't it? He's about to put that plant that hill down, turn it to the side, and smash you with his leg. And you just think, mm. "Lovely, spot on, beautiful pose." So typical Thai boxing pose. Yeah, man, that's sexy. That. Yeah. So starting that low. So yeah, typical base. Uh, Going into the uh, into the feet there, feet are sculpted really well. Um, it's all good kind of separation between the toes. Sometimes they can be a bit kind of clumpy there. Uh, kind of high gloss on the toenails, done well. Done I well, love, they do um, that, though, don't they? Pieces I love the way well. they've done it with these. They wrapped his feet and his hands, and they've kind of added like um, they painted over the top of it. So yeah, it's they've kind added of like, the media and then yeah. like almost like what they do like with cement. A plaster palace. Yeah, pl plastered yeah, like wraps. Yeah. It's almost like they've wrapped it and then they've sort of wet it and, mm. and painted it. But I do really like that that kind of effect. Yeah, I love that it looks well. really great. Uh, you go up into the legs, you know, Calf's great, great sculpt on there. Um, fire, great squats. separation through the hamstring, bicep form was fantastic, really good form. Yeah. Beautiful, big, thick um, calves, really nice. You know, it's got a great skin tone on it as well. Really 
the, 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 the colours is absolutely perfect for scats, just absolutely perfect. The mixed media here as well, which I'm really pleased to it's say really is, is really yeah. like, you know, I've wore tie boxing shorts before and this is this is pretty good. Mm. You know, they actually look like wet, you know, if you were, <laughs> they were your scale, you'd wear them, you'd have no problem putting them on. Mm. They look really great, good elasticated waist, everything's top notch, stitchings, yeah. nice and small, you know what I mean? Really done well. Yeah, moving onto the body, Great abdomen. I love the scar. I obviously, where Ryan you fucked him up. Um, we don't talk about that. Here. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's obviously what he disliked. But yeah, I mean the the body sculpt on this is really really good. And that's normally where uh, Jerry kind of excels. I mean, his body sculpts are great. Who's the other guy who does like? Is it John Cleary? Cleary. Who does uh, Guy or Guile, yeah. um, Alex and some of the others? I mean, they both. I are think great with an I think the great thing about this particular um, physique, though, as well, is there's just so much. Really, realism to it, you know, like you can see the that his, you can see the lats and the rotator cuff muscle groups and the you know Terry's minor and all those sort of groups are all there on the back, but they're not overdone, they're not over exaggerated. It could be a real person, it could be a decently conditioned person, certainly from the back. Me and Joe were talking about this, and we were saying he was saying to me that he thinks that maybe this was digitally. Um, played with because Part of this, bit. yeah, yeah digitally uh, messed with because obviously the smoothness of it and and how it sort of is was finished. Yeah. It was hand sculpted and then uh, finished as digital. Yeah, the muscles around the front and the scar. The scar actually looks quite painful. It, it really does look like a, a keloid scar. It sticks out on top. You know where it just raises above the skin. It looks fantastic. Shading in it and the paint job is absolutely spot. Yeah. It's exceptional. Absolutely when, um, exceptional. Piece. When this came out, there were a few complaints though about the. The wraps on the hands where they couldn't do the the wraps going between the knuckles so they've got the wraps going up to uh, like here and they, it's kind of sculpted above them. Yeah. Um, some people complained about that but i That's don't fair. really think there's a, a big issue about that in all honesty no not a problem at all it actually goes nice because you can actually see a bit on the feet as well so it doesn't look when you look at the statue as a whole it, it doesn't really look too terrible it doesn't look like it stands out or that there's been a mistake made i really like underneath going into his sort of torso into his you know saras and obliques up the, up the front they're, they're sort of the right sort of size and thickness which i really like and i really like how they've smoothed off and finished the arms the biceps triceps there's no um joins there's nothing looks out of place you know on this sculpt everything is well, finished and done perfectly well the only thing is where the head joins it's a little bit at the top there at the back of it yeah that's i mean but you're going to get that because it's skin on, on skin there's no hairline there's nothing to protect yeah. that and stop that from being and also, seen sorry going on to that the uh the uh, eye patch is media as well yeah it is yeah i, I was quite surprised by that when i touched yeah. it yeah it's just got the perfect expression for me i, I think they've captured Sagat perfectly i think he's got a really like no not you know just no, there's no emotion there it's quite a, you know almost terminator like attitude you can see <laughs> And I just, I love that about this piece. I really think, mm. this for me is the best Street Fighter piece I've ever seen. Yeah. And this actually, I was saying to Joe, is the type of piece I would take and I would put in my collection and I would have no problem keeping it on its own. Well, there's a collector on um, on our group. I think his name's Dennis, uh, uh, surname because of P. I can't remember his surname now, but he has all Star Wars. Yeah. And Saga. Well, I, I don't, I don't, you know, I, for me, I can understand why. I mean, I would definitely put this in a section in my room just on its own in a little glass display and just be, I'd be proud and happy to have just that piece alone. Um, I think it's that nice. There's something about it that's just beautiful to me. I think the whole balance of it is absolutely perfect. Yeah. You've got veins underneath the skin, highlighted as well, you know, unlike like Guile and some of the other pieces. It's funny because Guile's veins are not sort of really highlighted. Not really. And no, no. Akuma cool and this one, you know, earlier pieces are... are yeah. So I don't know what happened there. Yeah, Guile's kind of the same colour as his, his skin, isn't he? Yeah, but it's quite strange because he's got these big, massive veins, Guile, but they're not being coloured in. And it's a piece that came after the other pieces that have been I think the paint on this, for like a production piece, is really good. Yeah, like if you look at the veins, yeah. the veins, are, they're there, but they're subtle. Yeah, like yeah, especially the one, the one across here on the forearm. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's almost like... It's been painted, and then they painted the kind of flesh yeah. colour over the top, yeah, yeah, and it yeah. kind of looks like it's inside. Yeah, totally. As, yeah, as it does, does. and that's yeah, that's, got that's the same cool. thing going on on his shins. Yeah, you know, there's there's just subtle veinage going on all over the place. I I, I think it's exceptional. Mm. I it's, love everything about it, and I've I've been trying to twist Joe's 
nuts for right. Bayer Bar taking yeah. it, but he ain't having none of it. He ain't having none I of think it. this is um, this is better than, than the uh, Akuma by far. If you add the two together, there's, there's no competition. No way. No way. No chance in hell. Sicker sculpt, cleaner paint, more accurate, 100%. Every, everything about it is a win. You got a tape measure? Uh, yeah. I, I think it's big, man. Sculpt, man. Great pose. It's just got, it's just, there's nothing wrong with it. I just can't find anything I dislike. Yeah. Nothing at all. Even that little joint at the back where his head goes on, it just doesn't bother me at all. Right, okay, let's have a see. It's interesting because they're saying here, according to this, that is around just over 21 inches tall. Yeah. That is 21 inches tall, so they were spot on with what they say on the box. Yeah. But it does, does not look it. It looks so much bigger. Well, there's a big pitch. This is the same as like um, Zangief. So, so it's around about 54 centimetres. When you have Zangief, Zangief looks massive. And then you measure it with the end as big as you think. It's just it's weird. I don't get it. I don't get it. Well, it's because the base is so small. This one, like, in terms of depth with the hand and such, you're probably looking at around maybe 14 inches mm. in depth, which is around 36 centimetres. Yeah. Width-wise, nothing too crazy. It's around the width of the base. Nothing stands out. So, again, you're talking about 10, 11 inches, which is 28, 27, 28 yeah. centimetres. This is really good detoff level display. I'm gonna get this piece. Yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna buy this I piece. Don't I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna get this piece. I'm gonna, so have, it. I'm gonna have it on its own. <laughs> I don't care that I don't have any other Street Fighter pieces, and I don't care that I'm not even gonna have buy another Street Fighter piece or another gaming piece again. This is that good. I have to have it. Yeah. Have to. Badass. I'm gonna buy one just to piss you off. Yeah, it's something you would do. <laughs> um, do you wanna pick him up and put him on the scales? Not really. No. I can if you want me to. Joe, no. do you want to do Steady as a rock. So it's actually quite heavy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is fourteen point five pounds, which is six point six kilos. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Twenty twenty one inches. Not not terrible. Yeah. It actually feels really weighty and premium as well. Um. I haven't actually, I actually, no, I did hold it in my hand and it was heavy. Mm. And Joe did let me feel yeah, it. You it on. Yeah, Joe let me feel it. He told me I could touch it on the shorts, I remember. He <laughs> said, hold it by the shorts. I thought, oh, good. Show me on the teddy where he touched you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, congratulations to anybody that has this beautiful piece. Mm. And anybody that wants to sell it, hit me up anywhere, anytime. Let me know. Um, let us know what you think about the pieces and, and obviously let us know what you reckon about the saga. Where does it rank? In your Street Fighter lineup, you know, is it? You know, am I am I over fluffing it, or uh, I don't think so, man. I think it's a, I think it's a really nice piece. Mm. Um, yeah, definitely. I I mean, uh, I don't know about being the best one, but um, what's that? I think he's he's high up there. I still like the original um, Zangief. I prefer the original Zangief. Yeah, I like this one. The skin one. Um, I like this one. I've got to see some of the others though, but I do prefer Zangief. Mm. Yeah, I, I like Zangief was really nice, but I like this one though. Alright. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Peace. <laughs>